I I don't think I told you. Yeah, because this was last week. Um, I had those. I had a I had a gummy bear uh-huh. before I went Little to my gummy. family dinner. <laughs> and I had had a gummy bear before, and it didn't do anything. So I was like, all right, let's let's quadruple the dosage. <laughs> I had four Christ. of these things. I hope to God Caitlin's not listening. She'll actually be <laughs> mad at me. Um, so I was a little a little high. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I took it earlier in the day. Yeah. And then I was still high all day. It just crushed And then you. I got to my family's house for dinner, which don't get high for a family dinner. That's the first time I ever did that. Learned that in high school, dude. Super, <laughs> super uncomfortable. It sucks. And, uh, <laughs> like, I was sitting there. My mom made this meal that was just, it was supposed to, she tried to make this, like, chicken. It ended mm-hmm. up just being fucking soup. Yeah, like yeah. I was like, is it supposed to be fucking soup? <laughs> she was like, no, it's supposed to be like a light sauce. It was just literally just soup. And I was high. I was like, this is soup. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking dying. They had no idea. They had to. Have. Really? Well, no, I'm always pretty much a dickhead. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, now Caitlin didn't know. No one knew. That's funny. As but shit. my eyes were dark red, and I was laughing the whole time. I don't think they would expect that from me. Exactly. I wouldn't expect that from Sneaky. me. Sneaky. Yeah. I would never read, expect yeah. that from if you're me. Reading the gummies, dude. They wouldn't know. And I was high enough that I was like, I'm getting high by myself. <laughs> like usually, like when I was younger, I would get, if I ever got high, it would be like, Yeah, I'm getting high, and tell people. Yeah, yeah. This was just me getting high, it's like secret. to just get through the day. <laughs> just a sad <laughs> fucking like. I want to feel weird at dinner. <laughs> you got too high. And I got too high. And then we were sitting there watching TV, and ABC has this show right now. It's like called Together We Rise or mm-hmm. something. And it's all about different like social movements in America, of course. Yeah. Primetime ABC. They're yeah. showing black people marching. Yeah. It's like, come on. Dude, it's, the, we, ca- it's the cow right they're now, They're just dude. getting us. Like, we don't need that. Yeah. You need it a little bit. You need to understand history, but yeah. you don't need it as fucking... Here's our fucking Sunday night entertainment. Well, you need to understand history. That's yeah. all just like pure out of context. Yeah, like, it is. Check this out. And you're yeah. like, whoa. Yeah. But we're watching it, and the one episode was about gay people. Uh huh. And um, there was just this thing about the Stonewall Inn in New York, which I actually, oddly enough, I knew about all this shit because I took Gays in America at Westchester. I took Did a you history really? class on homosexuality in America. So I knew, I know a lot, like Harvey Milk, all that shit. And, uh, the Stonewall, but there was just this article that they showed on the screen that was like, officers break up den of homosexuality, and I was so high, and I was laughing so hard about it, like thinking of a bunch of dudes coming into a den with sticks and like hitting gay people, like, get out of here, knock it off. It's like the cops from The Simpsons, like, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, please. This is weird. But then I, I, I was like... I was like, oh, man, Dad, you must have been, like, homophobic as fuck when you were a kid. Yeah. Like, you never said, like, this is gay. He was like, no, we just called people douchebags. I was like, oh, yeah? He was like, well, yeah, we didn't know. They yeah. didn't know people were gay. Well, that was also, that was a fist How fight, How fucking dude. funny is that? Yeah, but they that's, didn't know. That's insane. Like, until they figured out that gay people existed when they were, like, in college and out of college. Holy fuck. And I was like, what do you think? Because my fucking mom's brother is gay. They just thought he was like, they were like weird. He's just weird. <laughs> I was like, what do you think about your friend? Like, because they had gay friends. They're like, he never liked girls, and we he always he hung was, out with the girls. We thought he was a nerd. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we just made fun of the way he ran. <laughs> like, we had no idea. Oh, it's so fucking funny. Yeah, that yeah. shit's, dude. I'm telling you, dude's like 50, 60. That's not funny to them. Yeah. Like, grab it, grab your dad's fucking ass, dude. Oh, my God. He'll fuck you up. Oh, my God. He'll kick your fucking... It's not funny. But then, like... Because we, we were raised with, like, being gay is, like, totally acceptable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they were they didn't even fucking know about it. So, like, it's it, it was mind-blowing to me to find out that people were like, what the fuck is that? Dude, it's insane. You know? It's, well, I, we were talking about how it, it, was, it can suck to hang out with chicks. And, uh, <laughs> uh boy. You're back in the yeah, mud. Yeah, back right back <laughs> in it. Well, anytime I say something like that, I just am like, oh, yeah, my girlfriend definitely listens to this. Yeah, I know. This is just gonna be a fight. Don't, Actually, dude. she wouldn't. She would never fight me over this. Yeah. She knows. Although she did around. fight me over the podcast when I said I got high at dinner. Yeah, that was really funny. She was though. upset about that. Yeah, but she's cool. She fucking understandably is. upset that yeah. I'm getting high behind her back Secretly and going to family dinner. dinner. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I understand. That's a good quality quality yeah, check. I needed that. Um, <laughs> I need that. You're getting. You're eating fucking weed gummies before family <laughs> dinner. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> And I was just at her house all day. She was at work. I'm just at her house playing fucking FIFA. There is a betrayal. I used to get in trouble for that when I was married. 
Yeah, being, I would get I secretly like high Ooh, for like children's nice. parties. It goes right back to my theory. You would what? get secretly high for children's parties. Yeah, and I would just sit and watch like kids in a bouncy house, like <laughs> <laughs> into the way whole way. Like, What's wrong with you? And I'm like, nothing. I'm just tired. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just out of my mind. Now it takes me back because the reason they don't like that why is because they want to get high with you, or they want to be part of the fun. That's true. It's again so chicks. When they're with a uh, fuck what you think you say it's like a it sounds bad. All right, it does sound bad, but like so I always think of it from my perspective. Like you know how chicks are always like, I want to go to the movies with you, I want to do that with you, and it's like, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm going by myself, or like yeah. you're doing something. Or they'll be like, you saw it without me. Yeah. I got you. But it's like, uh, it's like when you were a younger kid. Yeah. Like for you, you had older brothers that were older. They were bigger. They were stronger. Yeah. They were cooler. Yeah, they knew more cool they stuff. They knew more cool shit. Yeah. They were listening to fucking rap. Yeah. You're like, oh, man, hey, I want to come with you guys. And they're like, get the fuck out of here, Matt. <laughs> give you like a dead arm. You're like, yeah. Mom. Yeah. yeah. They're going without me. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it's like to be a lady. Just have, hang out with dudes are cool. You just hang you. out with dudes. You're like, I, I want to hang out. Yeah. And they're like, get the fuck out of here. No ladies. No you girls fucking allowed. Gay. You guys are lame. Yeah. This is not how I wanted this to come out. I know it made you, sense the first it time. It did. It's Listen, coming out bad. It came in, it, it's coming out real bad, but the first time it's... I remember when I had armpit hair for the first time. Wow. You know what was sick about having older sisters? What? Older sisters' friends. I know. I was jealous of that forever. So sick, dude. You know what's sick, though, about having little sisters? When you become 31, little, sister friends, little sister's dude. friends. <laughs> little sister friends are fucking sick. But dude, but dude imagine fucking... Oh my, dude! Ew, dude! Little sister friends are probably so hot. They become. It's like fine wine. It's dude. As the year as the years go on, dude, they become greater. <laughs> They're always hotter for the rest of your life, dude. Oh. Get this. I have a fucked up story about older sisters, but I don't have any older, older sisters. Sister friends when you're a young boy are the best thing in the world. You know, I said that the whole thing about like getting a blo- like that's and the hardest. And also, every once in a while, you hug up with them. Good God! They practice sex stuff on you. Good God! It's cool. Dude, my friend Spe- won't it. absolutely won't name this guy. I have a friend who his friend has a super hot sister. This is a real story he told me in high school. All right. His friend has a super hot sister. Right? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you tell me this. What? Does this podcast fucking stink? No, dude, 100%. All right, don't, all right, all right, all right. I can't the, tell if that's we're That's the just... dark goblin, dude, right in your fucking back. The dark bag. goblin is... This is groundbreaking, dude. All right, good. Go ahead. So, so you have a hot... This, this fr- uh, well, no, I don't have a hot friend. Hot you're guy. fucking gay. So fucking... <laughs> the hot guy knew, you're talking about? This dude I knew from high school had... He's super hot that you're talking he's, about. He's a fucking... He's a hot fucking... How's his dick? Probably pretty big. Probably he's or definitely. Have you seen it? He's an Italian. I haven't never seen Italians it. Italians don't necessarily have. He used to brag. Every Italian's like my fucking cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North Maybe or he, South Italian. He probably had fucking. That's a difference. Hurt bird. Anyway, though, but this is a sick. This is this is the right, ultimate yeah, me... ultimate power move. So his friend, who had a hot sister, yeah, stole his T-shirt. So he's like, "Give me my T-shirt. I know you took it." Blah 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 blah. So he goes to this guy's house. Finally, goes through his like downstairs family laundry. This dude had, now mind you, this dude has a hot sister. Grabs a pair of his sister's panties oh, out of the laundry. Oh. So he's like, he's like, naturally, I sniff them, pop them in my pocket. He's like, sick. Find my t-shirt. I go upstairs. I'm like, you fucking asshole. You have my t-shirt. And he's like, ha, ha, ha. The dude I knew was like, yo, I just fucked this chick last night. She left her panties at my house. And he's like, let me, he's like, let me see him. Let me see him. He's like, here, take a whiff. This dude smelled his sister's panties and went, oh, dude, that's fucking heavenly. And the kid put him in his pocket and never told him his whole fucking life. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> dude! That's like the most horrific thing I've ever heard. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't steal fucking t-shirts, dude. Seriously, especially if you have hot sisters, and don't let people into your fucking family laundry if you have hot sisters. Oh, it's so horrific! How fucking savage is that? It's like the meanest. This kid thing. never told anyone. He's like, dude. He's like, he told me about it. And he's like, I never told that kid. And I never will. It's like punishable by death. Is it though? Should dude, you steal your friend's t-shirt? Fucking somebody tricked me into smelling my fucking... <laughs> and dude. you loved them, dude. <laughs> dude, that's fucking... That's fucking... Yeah. That's fucked up. It's criminal. It is fucked up. It's fucked up. It's criminal. However, I can appreciate the fucking guile behind it. The art to destroy your fellow man? That's like the Ocean's Eleven, dude, of fucking... That is the Ocean's Crushing Eleven your friends. Destroying <laughs> your enemies. That's hilarious. I never dude. destroyed an enemy like that. That's Dude, that's not even an enemy. That's some guy who likes... It was like... A Jesus is my homeboy T-shirt, and he was like, "Give me my fucking T-shirt back." <laughs> Good God, dude! All right. So I uh, I was traveling a lot. 
It's been a long time. North Carolina. I was in New York. I was in New York, North Carolina, Mechanicsburg, Philly, New York, Philly, New York. I'd be so tired. I am. Yeah. Last night really sucked. Last night I got in at like 6 a.m. from Philly. God. Saw the. One of the coolest things I've seen comedically in mm-hmm. a while. Watched a cool roast of That's Rich awesome. Voss. All the it was really cool to watch all these really good comics. But uh I keep traveling very late at night. Dude. On public transit, like Megabus and Amtrak and all that shit very late. Yeah. And I don't know if the listeners know this, but about uh, around midnight those all sell out. Like Megabus was sold out. Midnight Megabus and Trains. Past midnight to four AM. Okay. Midnight to 4 a.m., public transit sells out Yeah, with black people. Yeah, you were saying moving that. Moving around saying the you're country. you the only white person in the thing. Every night. I get on these megabuses after like shows and shit. Yeah. Sometimes I'm hammered <laughs> on these megabuses. It's just all black people. Dude, I got on an Amtrak <sighs> last night. Yeah, you were saying it was wild. It was crazy. It was people sleeping. It was people. Everybody was taking up. It was all black people and like yeah. kids. Yeah, you were saying that. My my car was filled with like black women and their kids at like at three thirty in the morning, like full on. And they're all kids in like PJs and blankets, taking up two seats, like laying side. Like it was crazy. That's wild. It was very. There's a different world out there, dude. That's a weird thing to see. <laughs> it is weird. It's no, weird it is to, fucking... to see people like fully sleeping and like yeah. little kids moving around late at night. It's like and like a fuck? mom bringing out like meals and giving them to. It's like what was, what yeah. were they? Uh... What were they giving them? Just like baby food? No, like these weren't like babies. These were like kids, yeah. They were like six, seven year olds, eight year olds. So they're hitting them with some food. They're hitting them with, yeah, they're giving them some nourishment in our long ride. It was weird, man. That is weird. There's a weird secret. There's something a lot of white people don't know. Yeah, the the midnight You get on a fucking late night public transit. Not like not like a SEPTA bus or like a city Mm -hmm. bus. I'm talking like a city to city. City to city. You're you're gonna be the only white guy at night. That's crazy. I never even thought about that. It's very funny. I figured no one would be on the train. No, that's what I was thinking. And then you get on, it's packed of like weird traveling. It's like this can't be, it's a weird. Uh, what kind of snacks? What kind of snacks are these kids I don't know. I didn't on? get to see them, but they smelled. Oh, so it it was smelled. The snacks? No, the snacks. Like somebody was <laughs> eating like something that smelled. <laughs> like oh, my car smelled like food. It's just suddenly it's like a third world country. Of like Dude. people traveling and eating on the train and like weird it's shit. It's like refugee status. It is. That's weird. I saw uh, the weirdest thing I've seen a lady give her kid. I was uh, I was at this chick's house. I like on the low dated a stripper with like a six month old kid for like three weeks. That's hot. No, it wasn't, dude. We like sat in her room. That's pretty young. We sat in her room. The kid, yeah. The kid is really young. Yeah. We sat yeah. in her room and there was actually, so there's triple prostitutes who lived above her. <laughs> yeah, I was in a fight. She was like, "Yeah, I was trying to sleep the other night, and there was one bump in the wall." Mm. And I was like, "Man, that sucks." And I'm like sitting here instantly, like I can, I'm, a, I'm in over my head, dude. I can handle some grit. I'm like, this is too gritty. So like, yeah. it's like futon sleeping baby right here, and the one the baby started crying. She was like, "Hold on a second. Opened up McDonald's barbecue. It was McDonald's sweet uh-huh. and sour sauce. Dipped a pacifier in sweet and sour sauce and jammed it in the thing's mouth." And I was just like, "Oh my god, <laughs> this is dude. abysmal. That's wild." I couldn't. But we, I, I just sat next to her. I'm like, "I'm not making out this chick in front of her baby." Do you ever fuck in front of the baby? No. You promise? Swear to God, dude, I, I, I didn't even do anything. Yeah, that's weird. I fucked a chick in front of her little brother one time, though. Really? That was a bet. Something I wish I could take back. What was he asleep? Yeah, but not. We were all in a basement, and he wasn't that far away. So. And were you friends with him? No, he was a little fucking fine. Out, fighting like that kid. So I his sister in front of him. <laughs> oh, that's evil, dude. I dude, when I was I was in high school. Yeah. It was going down. Yeah. I didn't, I had no I had no concept of that. About like how disrespectful and like That's happened, dude. I would do it like damaging that I'd be is. with a girl and her friend and like they'd be in separate bed and I would just be like like college dorm rooms, bed, bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then like it would just nah, be a fight. Fine. It would be a, they'd be in a fight now forever. And I'd be like, What's the big deal? Yeah, now whatever. I'm like, dude, that's so fucking weird to be yeah. like I don't I have to have sex. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter who it is, it's going down. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I saw someone feed their kid McDonald's. I saw some wacky shit last night. Did you? Dude, I was in Penn Station at from from two to three thirty in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Penn Station, New York. So I was under Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah. Last night I was under Madison Square Garden from 2 a.m. to 3.30. Why? Because I was waiting for my train, dude. That sounds horrible. It was chaos down there. God damn, And they dude. lock everything off. Like they block everything off. Because at those hours it's just homeless people. Yeah. 
It's just homeless people coming in there. Yeah, it's so funny to watch. So they them like fucking... World War Z barricade them. Yeah, from... they, well, they barricade all the all the stores, and normally it's a pretty big area. Uh-huh. Penn Station, yeah, like it's, it's huge, but they just barricade it so it's like one hallway. Only like a quarter of the seats are open in the waiting room, and then uh, looks sound horrible. Like one Dunkin' Donuts is open. Of course, they're killing it, and it's like. <laughs> Yeah, those are some Indian dudes that were like, no, we stay open. Yeah, they, they probably just come and cut the lock and lift up the metal yeah. gate. And they're like, we're selling coffee, dude. Fuck yeah. this. But it's just, it was, it was an episode of Walking Dead in there. Ugh. It was fucking great because they can't sit down and hang out and sleep and shit because yeah. then they get kicked out. But if you're just a black dude. Yeah, you can't. You if you're can't just a homeless sleep. person walking around. By all means. World's maybe, your oyster, dude. Yeah, but if you can stop and wait, somebody comes over and is like, all right. So it's like, a, it's like almost like a reverse game of freeze tag. <laughs> it is. If you freeze, they're like, you're out. Get in the fuck <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they just get kicked out constantly. It's so fun. Dude, I watched a guy last night. Whose job is that? Do they just, I guess the cops. They have cops, yeah. They have Amtrak police. That's kind of shit. a miserable dude. You're like a shepherd of crackheads. Dude, how many, how many times do you think they get that wrong? Like, it's just a normal dude who's like falling asleep waiting for his train. And they're like, all right, buddy, get out of here. And then he like wakes up and is like, what's the problem? They're like, oh. Nothing, man. Throw a crack pipe on him. Like, Get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Stop and frisk him. Be like, I found a gun. Get him out of here. Dude, I watched a guy <laughs> last night dig his hand into his ass crack. Like in? In. Over the full, pants? in, under the, under oh, everything. Oh, man. Would he go from the front or the back? Back. Reached hard <laughs> into the back. So low that it was like definitely butthole nutsack territory. <laughs> and then he was digging hard. And this was, dude, I was sitting there, I was reading Animal Farm on the ground. <laughs> I was sitting on the ground, like, reading George Orwell, like, oh, sweet. At, like, three in the morning, watching this homeless dude just Finger dig his into his butthole. Oh. Dig. And then he took his hand out, and he looked at it. He thought about it. And he smelled it. Of course. Class. Yeah, I mean, Can't I would have done the same. Yeah, exactly. He gave him a little smell. But then he licked his hand. Oh, licked his he shit took it hand to the next step, and then the next stuffed, it, stuffed it right back in. Lube it up, dude. And then he hit the hard heroin pass out. Oh, <laughs> it was so no. funny! Like the standing. Ah, what does that look like? It looks like you're. Uh, looks like you're trying to act out a uh, like a lowercase n. <laughs> like you're just standing there in like your arms and you <laughs> just it's, hunch over. It's like the yoga warm ups. You like it bend is. down, do the rag doll. So you finger licked it. Fingered his asshole and then hit a hard. The thing is, tasting his butthole put him out, or is the heroin? <laughs> <Knocked> him out, <laughs> dude. Might have put him in a hard nod. He's right like, there. "Damn, my butt tastes so good." And he's like, <laughs> passed out. But he was standing, so he was legal, dude. That's so. If you stay fucking standing, nod. So they're that's like, probably why I can't st- touch him, dude. That's so funny. I was sitting on the steps at Madison Square Garden, like outside, because it was yeah. fun. it was chaos inside. So yeah. I went back upstairs. And like was sitting yeah, you outside. just saw a guy lick his butt yeah, finger. Yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ. And I was sitting on the floor. <laughs> Rode in your butt. I was leaning against the wall of a TGI Fridays. It was fucking terrible, dude. And uh, <laughs> All the zombie crackheads were just trying to get they the TGI. They're dude. all walking around. That'd be hilarious. That was like an I Am Legend thing. That's where all like the zombies sleep in TGI Fridays. Dude. They come out and they're like... <laughs> dude, I've never seen... They just walked it. There was one guy who was just walking in a circle. Just a small circle. Like it's... Fucked in there. Yeah. So I get up. I was I was leaning against TGI Fridays, sitting on the floor, <laughs> and then I got up and walked away. And uh, when I came back, there was just a homeless guy with just the most disgusting shit ever, sitting exactly where I was sitting. And I was like, Oh, you're you know how many spot. homeless guys have sat there before me? Yeah. You know how many buttholes are fingered oh. in that spot? So I go outside and I was sitting on uh, on the steps, and this security guard comes out and he's like, "Can't sit there, man." And then he saw me like turn around. And he was like, "Ah, you're fine." <laughs> I was like, oh man. That's good. Well, you don't want to crackhead. Yeah, he thought I was a fat retard from behind. Uh, and then when he tough. saw me turn around, I was like, hey, what's up? He was like, yeah, you're fine. He's like, yeah. Damn, thought, dude. Yeah. They're just down there, just like accosting they're tars. They're right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the mic picked that up. I think it probably did. The, they're down there right now as we speak, just walking. They're just goldfish in this weird tank. Ugh, that just sucks. Drugged out. There was one guy who looked somewhat normal, and I just looked down. His feet were black. It's like weird it's, when it's you see those guys wild. and their shirts are off and they're just ripped. You're like, dude. Yeah, they're fucked up. How, <laughs> like, bro? I don't know what they're up to. I mean, they're just not eating, smoking crack, and like doing tons of weird chores. So you'd get ripped too. Dude. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it's constantly just like taking out trash. I saw, and it's funny too because on. 
Thursday or Friday or whenever I left. Or no, that was last week. Whenever I went to New York last week, yeah. I was at Penn Station. And I watched a homeless dude get kicked off the bench. He was sleeping at one of the benches, and a guy came by and like had to f- rattle the f- bench. Oh my he, god! He like hit his baton against the bench to get like try to up. wake this guy up. This guy was not waking up. He had to just stand there and be like, "All right, come on, come on, come on," and god. like was hitting it because he, he's not gonna f- touch him. You don't want to yeah, touch him. Then he woke him up, and the guy was like, "What? What?" <laughs> <And> he's <laughs> like, "You gotta go, man. You can't sleep here." He's like, "Unless you have a ticket. Do you have a ticket?" He's like, "Yeah, I got a ticket." So he was like, can see I it. see it? And he was like, no. <laughs> so funny. Dude. I was that, sitting in the, like, the pew across from him. You're not allowed to sleep in the hospital waiting room either. Really? That night, remember I cut my finger? Yeah. I was in there for like four hours, dude. And there's this guy, he kept sleeping. And then everyone, they come by, like, come on, man, get up. And finally, the cop dragged him out. Oh, uh, it was just a homeless guy just hanging out in the ER. They, yeah, they'll, they'll check in. They're like, what's your problem? Like, oh, my heart's messed up. And they'll just sleep in the ER. That's a good move. It's a great move. And they'll go in there and try to get some drugs. It's a nice move. Yeah, what do you have to lose? What, are you going to go in debt? Exactly, yeah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> like, but yeah, the cop like had to drag the guy out. And everyone's like, what are you doing? It's like, well, the guy shouldn't be. Yeah. Get him out of here. This place get him sucks. out. This Throw him out in the woods. Get him out of here. <laughs> get him out of here. Take him down to his mom's basement. Your mom voted for me. That's such a sick move. Dude, that is... We have to go chill there and try to like lay down. Dude, go to Penn Station at three in the morning. I'm gonna start standing like that. Like I'm just not not heroin everywhere. Not now. It's so funny. I love when I actually see it's those a lowercase r, not an n. It's a lowercase r. Okay, yeah, that's it's the true. shape. You're standing and then you just hunch and over, you just hunch over <laughs> and lean your arms <laughs> forward, but you just never fall, dude. You're like deactivated Frankenstein, just kind of yeah. like. Yeah, there. It's. It was very depressing to see. Oh, it's horrible, dude. Also, the rats. I was, I was walking around New York City late night. They're big. And it was, the city did sleep. The city was asleep. But not the rats. I was walking around. There's no one out. It was me, the rats, and butthole fucking homeless guys. You're not allowed to say homeless. You're, not, you're supposed to say people experiencing homelessness. Oh, really? So please keep that in mind. <laughs> That's true. So, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> that true, that. I slept in my car this weekend. Oh, shit. Pretty badass move. Coming back from. I was uh, in D.C. on Friday. <laughs> You know, the DC Comedy Festival. Check it out <laughs> if you get a chance. But uh, I was driving back from DC. It was late, and I was like, "I'll just take a." I was falling asleep, mm-hmm. and I've done that before. I've fallen asleep and crashed. You crashed into the it sucks, dude. It sucks so bad. It's so <laughs> stupid. Like I was. I, I don't think I've been that angry in a while. I can hit the median. I was on cruise control going eighty, and I fell asleep. <laughs> Hit the median, and I was like, like the "Holy big cement, fuck. The big yes. cement thing. Yes. Oh, just even scraping your tire on a curb sounds awful. Yeah. When I parallel park, and I'm like, I'm like, fuck. Imagine waking up to a crash, a car crash, like a loud, like <laughs> douche. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> Instantly, just be like, oh, I hate my shit. Oh my god, I would, that was That's instant. Cut my life into pieces. That dude. was. I was so mad. <laughs> But uh, I, was, I could feel myself falling asleep again. I was you, driving, and I was like, "Dude, I, I gotta, I gotta pull over." You gotta, had flashbacks of the well, media. I'll never dude. do that again. That was oh so my God. dumb. So I pulled over. <laughs> I got off this exit, and it was a bunch of hotels. So I was like, "Nice, I can just, you know, take a quick nap in someone's parking lot." No harm. It was like three a.m. I was like, "This, will, this will be a quick nap. I'll, I'll set my alarm for two hours. Take yeah, a two hour nap. Get back on the road." I woke up at fucking like 11 a.m. I woke up at 10.30. I slept for like seven hours in my car. And it's it so was funny. the day it was like 90 degrees. I woke up. It was oh my so God. fucking hot in my car. <laughs> and then I woke up in a Denny's parking lot. So I was like, I'm going to wake up and get some Denny's. It'd be funny that Denny's was just a mirage you had, dude. You were just sitting in like a Burger King, just like, I'll have a Grand Slam. And they're like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? No, I was well rested. What, you just sleep in your car for seven hours? I was well rested, dude. I woke up like, this is nice. I've never slept in a car and woke up feeling like, no. I wake up, I wake up and I'm like, oh, I? I mean, I definitely did that for a second, but it was also like, I mean, that was a long sleep. That is a long sleep. Did you sleep on your back? How the fuck do you sleep? Yeah, I can only, (laughs) I can only sleep on my side. So when I sleep in a car, I lay, I lean the seat back and sleep on my side, and I wake up and the whole left side of my body is asleep. And I usually, I like, I used to work for a guy where like part of my job was going to construction sites and waiting for deliveries. So I'd be at like a house that was getting built, and no one was there, and it would just be me in my car, and like it's coming to a four hour window, and I would pack out my car to some guy just like rapping on my window, oh. and I'd be like, 
Uh, oh. Some dude looking at me, like, what the fuck are you doing? I'd be like, uh, uh, okay, yeah. And I'd sign the paper, and this guy would be like, what a piece Sleep, of shit. Sleeping in your car is a real low point. On the job. I was like 19. Yeah. I'd be all fucked up the night before and go into work and just be like, <sighs> sleeping in aluminum. Yeah, well, imagine being 30, sleeping in a Denny's parking lot <laughs> on the way back from the DC Comedy Fest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was, that was a low point. Although I, I handled it well, I the, I would have thought I would have been a lot more depressed and anxious about that ordeal. But well, you got a good sleep. I got a nice sleep. Woke yeah. up, got some Denny's, took a dump at a Denny's. You did the right thing. Got some coffee, some pancakes. I mean, you are it was dude, great. You don't. You're on the road. Your options are either lose. crash into a fucking median I I, or sleep in a parking lot and eat Denny's, dude. <laughs> That's- that's that's road life, dude. Exactly. That's road dogging. Exactly. But I did not intend to sleep for seven hours. That was that. I fun. mean, that was a full sleep. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was. And the whole time I was, I was just waiting for the Indian that owned that hotel to come out and be like, "Buddy, smack, smack your car." Yeah. It's like wake up. From, if that ever happens again, dude. If I ever get in a situation like that, I'm like, oh, there, "There's two guys. Go get them." Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you know a guy that doesn't blow other guys. Get out of his way, dude. Get out. He's, He's about to take over everything. <laughs> He's about to get you, dude. Look at this empire I've created. Yeah, your sick-ass basement, basement room. My basement lair, dude. <laughs> I have like three shirts. <laughs> I'm living Oregon Trail. Fucking, <laughs> I, I purchased four shirts uh, five months ago. Shane played the Oregon Trail all week when he was yeah, in Boston. I was, I was in Boston for a few days, and I had to kill time during the day. And a lot of people would have gone sightseeing. Yeah, I was by Harvard. I did check Harvard out. Did you really? Yeah, it was gay. Did you look into any classes? I popped my head in. Did you solve any so, quadratic no, formulas? Dude, I, was dude? Wearing, I was wearing this exact outfit. I wasn't <laughs> popping into Harvard. I was walking around in like flip flops and a Philly shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh I was my like, God. so this is this is it, huh? And then I just left. <laughs> it's like, all right, it's just old brick buildings. Yeah, it's um, like Penn. Yeah, but uh, I hung out at Panera for two days in a row. Nice, all day. Nice. Did you drink their green tea? No, I just drank mad iced coffees. Dude. Did you really? And then I would go. All right, so here was my day. Two <laughs> days in a row. So I slept at a friend's house. Sam Ike, what up, boy? Sure. Slept at his house. Um, but I had to. I parked on the street, so I had to move my car at eight a.m. Yeah. Which you know me. That's a fucking stretch, dude. I was you waking don't up. Exist before I was waking noon, up dude. at seven. Seven thirty. It was tough. You had to put your vampire ring uh-huh. on to go out in the sun. <laughs> That's on the Vampire Diaries, dude. <laughs> go ahead. It's tough to. It's tough for me to wake up, but it's easy when I'm in a stranger's place. I can wake up real easily. That makes sense. When it's awkward. When I'm not yeah, comfortable. I, I so like I'm saying, ready yeah, to yeah. get out of there. That makes uh, sense. I, he, I lived love... with, he lived with improv. He lived with two improv people. Uh, and I was so like... What was that like? Once he told me they did improv, like whenever I'd see them, I'd be like, hey, and like be real <laughs> cautious to did, even did talk to Did you hear them having sex with each other at night? Uh, no. it was The only one I saw was this lady... Oh, it was a lady. Was, was a, yeah, it was a lady improver. A lady she improver was, and a guy? She was just on her bed, on her laptop with a cat, and I was just like, it's exactly Hi, what I, how are exactly you? exactly what I imagined. Yep. And I was like, I'm getting out of here. She was probably on a Facebook group right there. Just like, sexually, right? Dude, if you stayed in that house, you would have assaulted her. Mm-hmm. You definitely would have. Statistically, 99% <laughs> chance. Yeah. She was an improv chick? 75% chance you were going to do A strange man was in her house. A hulking white man? Dude. Good Lord. And I'm cis, dude. No, I'm one, cis. Yeah, you're twice as evil. I'd have tuck tail and get out of there. <laughs> you'd go play the organ trail. I'd tuck boner and get out of there. <laughs> no, uh, but I got out and uh, I made it out. Nice. And so woke up at 7, moved my car, drove straight to this Panera that was by this movie theater. Damn. Uh, so I hung out in Panera from like 8 to 11. And then at 11 a.m. saw a movie and then went back to Panera and hung out until my show. That's not Both bad. days in a row. Just chilled in Panera and then all day. It was in a mall, like a strip mall. So I just yeah. went to different stores and like cl- tried on shirts and shit. Oh my God. I was like, I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> I didn't buy one thing. I you tried on tried like twelve on different shirts. I love Boston t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the TJ Maxx and like a Models. Oh my God, dude! And I was just in the dressing room trying on shirts, and I was like, Dude, I'm fat as fuck. God <laughs> damn it, dude! I put on a shirt. I put on like an extra large shirt, and like from like. Right, like right where my belly started up, fit perfectly. Everything was fine, but then my okay. gut stuck out. Like so, it was you tight. Little, you get a little bit of that undershot of it. It was just tight, perfectly around my waist, like my belt. Yeah. What kind of shirts are these? Just regular t-shirts. Just like just a, XL t-shirts. 
It's a regular old tee. Perfectly fit, perfectly here up, and then right around the weight, like gut Hell, was just belly. tight. And I was just like, Jesus Christ. Damn, dude. Can't even wear this. You should have started working out in there. I did some push-ups and did a bunch of crunches in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? No, of course. That'd have been hilarious. Yeah, they'd write that you shit. Just fucking ta- you were just a taxi driver, dude, and fucking <laughs> TJ Maxx. <laughs> so then I, uh, I just went back to Panera and played Sim City until my show. <laughs> if you had done that for another week, people in that area would have you would have been like local folklore. What this guy just keeps showing up? The guy's back at Panera, dude. He just wanders and haunts the shopping center. I, there were two homeless people outside of McDonald's. <laughs> really? These two white. Like young shit like people, punk. and they started hanging out in the Panera, like at a table next to mine. Did they really? Like, right, I get out here. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why, dude. I have a, like a maybe this is bad, but I, I like I don't like when I when I see like white bums. I'm always like you motherfucker. When I see a young white bum, a young I'm always white like bum. you mother. Yeah, it just, I just get madder. I guess any young bum, I'm like get out of here. When yeah, I see a young white bum, a, I'm like you especially with a, a couple. Bitch. Like when they have this That's guy has disgusting. this guy had a girlfriend and it was like, all right, clearly you guys are just doing drugs and hanging out. Yeah, I tell you, my dad's beef with him. He had, like he met a couple like that. Really? He was working and he saw them. He saw them every day on Grace Ferry Avenue, like begging for change. They had, like a couple and a dog, and then he saw them one day. He probably totally mistook them too, because he's like. I saw them getting out of a house. It was a half a million dollar house. I know it was them. So whenever he drives by them, he like yells the address at him. Like, I know where you live, you motherfuckers. And they're just like, what the? Now that I think of it, I'm like, dude, it's probably, probably all high. Probably just like, Whoa. He just saw like a, another white person with long hair. Yeah, he's like, yeah. there's those motherfuckers by Grace Ferry. <laughs> they're they're rich. And he yells at them, dude. And they're just taunted like, homeless <laughs> couple every day. Yeah. I hate when they have dogs, dude. Yeah, I can't stand that. When they get the dag. Yeah, it sucks. But it's yeah. also like, you know, it's a good life for a dog to roam around. The dog's happy. Roam around, probably gets a little heroin every now and again. Yeah. A little shot. A little, a little dog's shot like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, Boston was all right. Nice. That's sick. You played the trail. Played, played the Oregon Trail sim. for like five hours. I'm jelly, dude. I love that game. You died in it. You told me, dude. That sucks. You died. Snake bite. Yeah, you died Fuck. of a snake bite. My girlfriend pooped herself to death. You even tried to revive me, dude? I rested for two days. Two days. What, what was I supposed to do, Matt? We got to keep it moving. Yeah. The oxen were getting tired, dude. You got bit by a snake, dude. This was your fault. True. I was probably out foraging for meat. You were just, you were, I was no. on a big hunt. No, dude. What was I doing? I don't know. You probably found a, a young squaw. You think I was out I think you ran squaw? out with a squaw, dude. You young savage. You probably made love under the moonlight. I probably. I am John Smith, dude. And then you got snake bit. You might not have died on the trail. We might, might have buried you. you might have faked you my have, death. Yeah. You buried me, and I was just like, uh, popped, you popped out. popped out like the Got revenant, some more. <laughs> dude, and climbed back. Got some more of that TP, dude. PC, <laughs> TP, dude. Damn. <laughs> Shit. You, you made it, though. You made the journey? I made the journey alone. Everybody died. You, Okani, Beezer, and my girlfriend. All, all died. All dead. What did Okani die from? Uh, I think he broke a leg, and then I he think he died. drowned. No, I think he drowned. <laughs> I think I crashed. One of them. Um... Bay had diarrhea. Beezer, That's sick. Your bay had diarrhea. Beezer had too much vodka. You probably put your bay down, dude. I had to put it down. That She's, definitely happened on the Oregon she Trail. She was pooping everywhere. I had to give her the old dude. shot her in the head. Imagine having to give your old daughter the musket because you were shitting too much. You're like, you're going to get... Cause if, it, if you shit all over everything, you get everyone else sick. So every, people probably put their girls down. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, probably, yeah. <laughs> probably once or twice. You're like, all right, this is it. You shitting too hard, dude. <laughs> like you're gonna get the whole party sick. She dude. was probably like, uh, like you do in a public bathroom, where you like try to <laughs> very, very quietly. Well, they have those big fucking. They had those big hoop dresses, dude. So they're probably coming back just like smeared with toxic shit. And they're like, dude, out in the field, hug the stump, fucking. <laughs> probably made her run back and forth like a buffalo in Oregon Trail, dude. <laughs> just run back and forth on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is funny how that that's kind of dead, right? Music, the whole like trash the hotel room. It's kind of just like let's you know get this. Well, gig. no, we fuck it, hookers and do coke, <laughs> right? <laughs> True. Yeah, that's sick. But we're just not trashing the hotel room. That's good. Nice. You guys yeah. are cleaning up afterwards. Yeah, wiping up all like the smears off the of stuff. <laughs> we actually rarely get hotel rooms now. It's uh, where you guys sleep. We we have a fifteen passenger van, and uh, we took out like all the back seats, built a bunk with a queen size bed. Damn. Yeah, and we just uh, sleep in truck stop. 
uh, wow, parking lots. Wow, you guys lots. are getting really freaky there. Yeah. You guys lot lizards, dude. Do you ever jerk off in the van with everybody in there? Not with everyone in there, but definitely like... <laughs> you guys if ever... I have a moment, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. You gotta <laughs> yeah. crank it off. Do you ever encounter any lot lizards in these truck stops? Lot lizards? Yeah. They're like little like methed out prostitutes that slither around like a truck stop. No, I actually haven't. Look out for I'm them. I'm bummed out. <laughs> I, gotta, truckers, I gotta look out now. There's a weird sexual world of truckers, dude. Yeah, a lot of people course, don't know about it. Truckers course. do some weird shit. Yeah. You can make a couple about, bucks. Uh, what, was, what the fuck were you calling tires when we were driving? Oh, fuck. Uh, it's like highway gator. gators. Highway gators, gator. dude. Was it burst gator. open on the road? Yeah, now man. every time I drive and I see a <laughs> busted truck tire, I'm like, gator. <laughs> it's a highway gator, dude. Yeah, this... So you guys sleep in truck stops, and do their girlfriend, are their girlfriends okay with this so they don't come on the road? Uh, yeah, they don't come on the road. They're cool with it. Yeah, um, yeah it's kind of nice for me because I've been single like the whole time I've been touring. Mm-hmm. Um, Have you gotten so, any Z on the road? Just like maybe once. Like a hand job. It's kind of a weird thing because <laughs> when you're like at like our level, you're not going to really get laid just from being in a van. Yeah. You still have to like – I feel like you have to be like super high level to be at the point where you don't try, you know? It just yeah. happens. Well, you can – yeah, you, you, you get like the uh, – it, it's the same with stand-up. Like say you're on the road in like Buffalo, New York. You'll get an offer from some dude, but mm-hmm. it's like it's the universe being like, "This is what you get offered now." It's some frumpy, like box shaped mom being like, "You want a hand job, my Subaru?" And yeah, like, let's you know where you're. You got to take it though to get to the next level. That's right. what happens, dude. That's what you get <laughs> when you do that. When you do stand up, it's the same thing. It's like I, you can go to like Bristol and do stand up, and some like lady who looks like she's been smoking two packs a day is going to try to fuck you, and you can take her up on it if you mm-hmm. want. You can get, <laughs> you get <laughs> yo. I'm telling you, you can get some weird hand jobs yeah. going on. Yeah. It'll it's happen. True. You've got a, yeah, you've there, there, got a couple. There's some characters out there, man, especially out in the Midwest. Yeah. It's just no man's land. Yep. Bring him back to the truck stop, dude. Let him know. Right. <laughs> Bring him back to the bus with the boys, dude. <laughs> Let him run a moonwalker on her. Yeah, I remember one time, the, the first time I ever just got laid for being in a band, did it, then took an Uber just straight back to the truck stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> And then I think there was a Denny's attached. It just had some pancakes. Yeah, and it's funny. Put on to, some sweatpants, crashed in the van, lived to see another day. Shit. It's funny to think how people glorify like being on the road, and it's like you're explaining it. It's just Denny's, truck stops, weird yeah. protective sex with a stranger that what you a, drive home. Like, what do you guys do for heat in the van? When it's, do you just leave the car running? What do you think, bro? Just leave we'll, the van we'll running? Do you guys, do you guys like moonwalk into each other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys friction, dude. We, 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 we get the friction on our feet, get the kinetic God energy. Damn, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll just like turn the van on for a little bit and just wear layers i was thinking about getting a ski mask actually you should not. sleep in that don't get like, a ski <laughs> mask. Get, no don't get a ski mask yeah there's at a truck stop there's a lot of dudes dying to open up their concealed carry they see a ski mask we're like yep he was trying it. to rob it i'm doing it truck they stops they sell like a ton of in knives and stuff yeah, yeah dude there's a lot of sick shit there there is they they sell like uh like night armor well, like, I've seen like night armor, like, like mail, helmets, like chain mail, and yeah, it's like that's crazy. Sick. <laughs> that's pretty. That's it's South such Carolina. a specific demographic yeah, yeah, that yeah. goes there, you know. It's like an army of McCuskers, <laughs> <laughs> just like, dude, this is sick. I got a staff, I got a fucking <laughs> knight's helmet, and some mace. Well, the truckers probably set up like night armor next to them and talk to it on the road. Right, <laughs> reach gets over, lonely. give it like a phantom night hand job. <laughs> <laughs> Then afterwards, like push him out on the highway, like don't, don't tell anyone. Fuck what are you doing, <laughs> gay ass night? <laughs> You're not me. Me. Yeah, you made me do that. <laughs> Let's yeah, awesome. the trucker life seems uh, intense. I mean, it gets. I mean, they're the rock stars of doing it with a few dudes. The what? It gets boring just doing it with like your best friend, uh, friends, let alone just doing it by yourself, just traveling all the time. Trucking by yourself kind of sucks. I can't even like, imagine. I'm about to again, like I said, drive to. Indiana. Oh, Shane's got trucker blood. I got, I got weirdo driving by myself blood. You ever seen the, mm-hmm. the black dog? I, I have you get not. Real tired. That's what a trucker I have actually like. pretty close. Yeah, you hallucinate a black dog in the road. That's when you know it's a trucker. You got to pull over and sleep. The uh, 